do this every day. Last week we took you to a pub that sold over 300 different rums. And we got the shocker that poor Sisu was hit with a big C. Join us this time as we recap our stay in the BVI and we show you stuff that you definitely don't want to see on passage. It's just us two, me and you. We are two crazies from South Africa, that's Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. Uh, we just left that Sortolo Island. We just check out of that island, but we're still in a BVI. And as you can see, that is the Great Harbor of Foxes, where Foxes is. And we've been there for the first night we stayed over there. So it's basically full circle. We've got our sails up, both the main and the Genoa, but the wind is uh, nine. Nine knots. Eight, two, seven <laughs> apparent. Oh, uh, eight knots. Look at that. It's just not happening. And it we is. are doing a full 2.9 knots. Oh, and we got even down to seven knots yeah. through wind. Oh, seven. <laughs> and not so great. A four day trip has turned into a seven and a half day trip. Our, our famous place of recording a video after a country. BBI loved it. We actually got to almost all the anchorages of note. No? We, we got the tick boxes. Yeah, we've done the tick boxes. Just Van Dyke Island. Yeah, and this is the Great Harbor where foxes. It's lovely. It's really. It's a very, lovely. very lovely beach. But not lovely on the pocket. Now we. That's our first. Not culture shock, our first price shock. The nice thing is you can just go around the corner to Soggy Dollar, just next door. There's many other bars, but everyone goes to Soggy, Bo Soggy Dollar. That's Very a nice. cool place. That's really a cool place. Yeah. And then we went to Woody Tea. Yes, it was amazing. Yeah, it that was, was nice. That was very cool as well. And then we want to go to Anagada. We just went for a big hike on the island. We walked forever. Oh, that was a long hike. It was so hot, yeah. So we went for huge hikes and stuff. We came back to Saba Rock, which is also part of um, Virgin Gorda. And that is where Sir Richard Branson has two islands. Mecca and Mosquito. Mosquito. Yeah, so we were hanging around at the bar, but he never joined us. We sent him <laughs> WhatsApps and he didn't respond, so he lost. He could have been on YouTube, but... Yeah, <laughs> he yeah. could have been on Sisu. He could have been on Sisu <laughs> on YouTube, but he obviously didn't see that necessary. So Into to the baths. The, oh, that was amazing. I think that was better than Richard Branson stuff. And that was the first time in all my life since I've known Frick, that he actually enjoyed a hike, a walk. That's true. We went to the pub that has 300 100, rums. 360? 360. Uh, we should give them Sisu rum. Then they have 365. Yeah. That was a cool place. We went snorkeling there. And yeah, that was actually a lovely anchorage. Oh, I like BVI. BVI is very nice. Behind that is Jos van Dijk. I think that is still Tortola over there. Here is already USVI Islands. The US Virgin Islands. And this is Little Tobago, something like that, that we just passed now. So we're saying goodbye to the Virgin Islands. And on this side is just the Atlantic. And somewhere there, is the Bahamas. So we've got all our sails up. Doesn't want to work as intended. But the code is up, the main is up. But you can see, I think the sea state is not, is not make these sails happy. But it looks great. If they fly. <laughs> oh man. 
We had to switch on some engines, but look at what's between. She is making sushi. Sushi. <laughs> so the, for the first sunset meal on this passage, five day passage, we're going to do sushi. But unfortunately, store bought salmon. So it's not a mai or something that we bought. <laughs> <laughs> Out of a plastic bag. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. It's so cool. So this wow. is smoked salmon that we bought in our South African store. Norwegian smoked salmon in a South African store in Tortola. In the British Virgin Islands. In the <laughs> Where there's no canaries. Just that salmon sushi out of a packet. <laughs> and we go, if we go to the back and we've got the real McCoy. But this is a baby. A bonita. A bonita. Okay. So we'll use it as bait. And it is sun, sunset, which is a good thing. Okay, this is our go to knife. There we go. It's not that small. <laughs> you can have two views out of that thing. Yeah, you can. Yeah, it's not that small. It is now <coughs> the second morning. And we are entering the, the cold front. You can see over there is already raining, over there is also raining, and the sun is about to come up. And that's, and that's where the cold front is approaching us from. So we a lot of rain very soon, but look at the swells getting bigger and bigger. I'm standing here on, on a sugar scoop and I can measure the, the waves by just looking high level where I can see the horizon. So, you are now about high level for me. And you will see at the back, you cannot see the horizon. Not every time, but every now and then. We're on top of one, so you can see the horizon and many waves. And now we're down. And you can only see that one wave. <laughs> with all the, the weather around us, and also now with this front moving in towards us, just look at that view. Um, I thought it maybe is a good idea to tell you guys how we plan the, our routing while we're on passage because this is now a longer passage so it means that the weather prediction when we started is very different than when we end so we have to download the weather quite often so what we do is we use this offshore predict wind and if you open it up it's, it's a normal weather routing thing, so, or you can also download the currents and things like that. So we, we download the latest. And what we normally download is these two, Spire and Ukmo. We lie in open sea, we rely on Spire. And between the islands, Ukmo is much, much better. Click in one of the models that we want to look at. And then you can zoom in and then you can see how the, the little boat is going and then what we do we also look at the rain so if you look at the rain that is a little bit important because of the wind we know now where we are now there is that 
that's causing the big swell. So we, then we also check at the currents. So we got our currents here, and you can see where we are now. So we try to follow that current as well. And the other thing that we do is we use the radar. So over here, you can already see. You can already see these speckles here, and that's where the rains are. If you go to the radar screen, you can see there's the rain, and over here is the rain, and there's a little bit of rain, and in front of us also a little bit of rain. So for the first part of the journey we had loads and loads of clouds all the way around us. This cold front wouldn't leave us alone. And then what we saw was so shocking, it was scary. These things. Look at that and look at that. That was not something that I think you want to get involved with. It's water spouts or commonly known as a tornado at sea. So that was pretty scary for us. And then of course perpetual rain, rain and massive swells most of the time and then what else we bumped into that we've never seen before is this floating what we we didn't know what it was and then we realized it must have been a barge pulled by this little number can you imagine bumping into that at night and then of course um, no wind or hardly any wind can you see us <laughs> <laughs> oh no this light is not so good so we We've been told that we need to be at drop-offs and reefs and the like to catch fish. So the we got fishing, our lines out, yeah. Uh, the fishing saga continues. Yeah, we, 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 yeah, we still struggle to catch fish. But So we thought we will go the biggest drop-off that we've ever seen. Eh? In the Atlantic. I'm sure it's the biggest one in the Atlantic. <laughs> <laughs> so we went from infinity <laughs> so from 4000 meters to twenty two meters or thirty meters and there's even nineteen meters there's eight point five meters eight point five meters so we went not for that one because there's three meter swells and we were a little bit worried about break, breaking seas. But we went from 5,000, 4,000, 1,000 and then 30 meters. You see we're still at 30 meters. Which is scary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the wind is gusting. Yeah, the wind is not nice, the sea is yeah, not nice, it's just not nice. Uh, but at least our, we are sailing, it's good, engines are off. Uh, we've been motoring for two days now. So we, we race to get to this point, <laughs> before sun, actually at sunset, right? Yeah, because that's yeah. also what people say, at sunset yeah, we'll catch most. So we try to coordinate this effort and it failed horribly. It is not nice weather. Just look at that. And we thought the Bahamas is a nice and sunny place. With white beaches and palm trees and blue water. Well, the water is kind of like dark blue. But the sky is not sunny at all. So we've got the Genoa, got the Genoa out here on our, you can see, mid, midship cleat, which means that the Genoa can go more out to that side and we can catch more wind because we know something like 120 degrees of the apparent wind angle and we've got our main up but it is on the reef too 
So we've got a Reef 2 on the main. And it's just because we think... Actually, we don't have any idea what is waiting for us there. The cold front is everywhere. Even on the side. Really rough out there, as you can see in the window. <laughs> so it is soup night tonight. Yeah, we've got lots of rain around us and storm and stuff like that. Uh, and so we think it is soup night. Soup. Cooked, veggie soup with meat in. Veggie soup? Yeah. The green stuff soup, but it's red. Uh, so you can eat it. And toasted cheese. Toasted cheese. Some is to go with it. I think we need a hearty meal with a this weather. A hearty meal, yeah. Uh, this weather is not nice. Oh, we're going to winter. <laughs> uh, we're just out, so out the Caribbean. Yeah, I thought Bahamas is palm trees and sunny beaches. Nah. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Made it. Made it! And what a momentous oh. occasion. Oh, finally, our fishing luck has changed. <laughs> and finally, we got good one so it was an amazing sail for the next two and a half days all the way to the bahamas thanks for watching guys and remember to hit that like button see you next week